Hey and welcome, I'm Hammy and welcome to Lover Watch, none other than Overwatch 2's first dating simulator visual novel, say it what you will, for Valentine's 2023 and the event we have this here, Dating Sim. Now one can play either as uh, someone looking to romance Genji, I've already done a video on that, uh, check it out in the description below, I'll link it here, um, but this is indeed the Mercy playthrough, of course you have Hansel. Hansel as your guide, as your Cupid. So, obviously I've seen uh, my, my initial reaction because I played uh, Genji first, as in the Genji video, so some of this is already known to me. <laughs> so I won't re-react to everything twice. Uh, but uh, the official, but non-canon. This was emphasized in the marketing. Now 100% more official. Are you ready to play this thing? Um, if you didn't watch the Genji video, I'll do this for you. First tell me what non-canon means. We're glad you asked. There are parts of the Overwatch story that are real and others that are hypothetical. Like if Wrecking Ball and Tracer talk about how they both... I mean, this is just saying that... Uh, this is actually explaining non-canon and re-emphasizing that voice lines before the, the match start are non-canon, but as has always been said, reflecting on non-canon... Canonical... Reflecting on potential canonical situations. They may love cheeseburgers. They've never met, never had it. Not yet. They very much kick the first. <laughs> There's no fourth wall in this. You will soon see. We're good. Are you almost saying I should just enjoy this and not rush off to update fan wikis? Yes, I'm ready to play. Okay, we're Hammy. We are Hammy today. Your name is Hammy. Continue. Yes, set the scene. Okay, are we ready? I'm going to do a little, a little narration. If you're looking for my very slow narrated version, you can check out Genji. It's Friday night in the big city. You could use a laugh after the week you've had. The Laugh Attic is one of the most tragically unfunny comedy clubs in town, but you love watching people bomb on open mic. Sometimes, that people is you. It's particularly dark tonight, so dark it'll make for quite the dramatic reveal when your eyes adjust and you see who is sitting at the table in the corner. Eyes adjusting. 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 Oh my. Oh my. Is that. Is that who you think it is? It's Mercy. It's Genji. Why are there only two options? <laughs> Why are there only two options? What if I want to see, just as a thoroughly relevant example, Farah? <laughs> Whoa, pace yourself there. You haven't even had your first date yet. Two options are plenty for now, and maybe we'll add more in the future. We're not saying this is some kind of test variation of a potentially more robust dating adventure, but we're also not not saying that. Real double negatives here. But, you know, this is this is the Overwatch 2 narrative team, you know, taking off the tight tie, taking off the jacket, you know. Chilling out a bit. Now, who do you see in the corner? Mercy! Oh, there she is. It's Mercy. Genius doctor, genius scientist, genius inventor. No matter how many times you blink, she's still there, and you're completely... Uh, you had these options with Genji as well. Starstruck, Lovestruck, or Painstruck. Maybe maybe I should be Starstruck. Let's go for Starstruck. Oh. Starstruck. You're amazed she can be seen in public without hordes of DPS players begging for healing. <laughs> oh. oh, it's so good. It's just like them to be nowhere near their healer, though, huh? Oh. Oh. So meta. Let's have a little save. <laughs> You'd love to get an autograph. And maybe a handshake. And maybe she'll even say your name. <laughs> oh, God, we're really starstruck. We're, 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 we're fan, fan personing. What? Zap. Hark, do I hear the sound of a heart beating fast and smell the sweat on your palms? Oh. I am Cupid, the hero of love in all its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all those who desire to love and guide them to fulfillment. You look around, wondering if anyone else can see this, or are you hallucinating? Do not worry, you are the only one who sees me. I do not interfere in the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder. He will point you in the right direction. Okay, that's a definite maybe on the hallucination thing, but maybe this hallucination can help you. Now, tell me, are you in love? 
Uh, I, I don't want to repeat this for people who've seen it before, but it's like... <laughs> Hold up, you're not Cupid. Your hands are... <laughs> From the free-to-play game Overwatch 2, TM. Which I, of course, played because I just recognised you as Hanzo Shimada. Oh, embarrassed Hanzo. I get that a lot. But no matter how similar I am to the character in Overwatch, rest assured I am Cupid, champion of love. However, it is entirely possible that Hanzo Shimada will have a skin based on me in the shop. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> Indeed, now tell me, are you feeling the signs of love? I didn't do this last time. Nope, that's just my baseline anxiety. <laughs> Anxiety and affection can sometimes feel similar, but fear not, I'm here to guide you through all of love's intricacies. So, do you wish to win the Heart of Mercy? Uh, wait, there was another option, wasn't there? I don't think there was. Was there? Let's check. There was. Not anymore. Okay, that was weirdly ominous. I will not ask again. So, do you wish to win the Heart of Mercy? Yeah, I, I've got no choice. Yes, I want to win the Heart of Mercy. Yes, I wish to win the Heart of Mercy. He arches an eyebrow. To win her heart, you must arm yourself with the power of knowledge. How much do you really know about Mercy? Wait, is he actually setting up a trivia quiz here? <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> Sorry, why are trivia questions important to winning Mercy's heart? Test my unparalleled Mercy knowledge. Can I look up one wing thing on an Overwatch fan wiki first? Right. Okay, team. Let's make this a point. Test my unparalleled Mercy knowledge. <laughs> Come on. This is going to be embarrassing if I get things wrong. Confidence. I hope it's well placed. What is Mercy's real name? <laughs> Mrs. Hammy. <laughs> Okay, well, I think we can mostly get that one right. Angela Ziegler. Incorrect! It's Doc. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Hanzo. You didn't give me that. Okay, Cupid Hanzo Shimada. <laughs> Skin TM. Stop that. What is her favourite food? Chocolate or the tears of careless DPS heroes? <laughs> Look, I'm going to go for chocolate. Close, but not quite. She loves Swiss chocolate. Well, you're not giving me the options. You're not giving me the options. I knew that. There wasn't an option for Swiss. Yeah, damn right. Damn right. Thank you, writers. A shame. Now, next question. What is Dr. Ziegler's field of research? <laughs> Healing uh, biology. Well, it's not none of these. It's nanobiology. Come on. PhD in heroes never dies. This is rigged. There are no right answers. It's rigged. 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 I know she's a pioneer in biotic technology, which is a field in applied nanobiology, and she got an MHD and MD and PhD in Switzerland. Yes, thank you, Hanzo, citing the, the bio from the website. At a ridiculously long age, indeed. She also became head of surgery at a prominent Swiss hospital. Again, at a ridiculously young age. <laughs> if you're so knowledgeable, illuminate me then. What would impress such a highly accomplished woman? I'm a pretty nice person. I'm pretty funny. Can't I just say hi? I'll tell her how many hours I clocked in Overwatch 2. I don't, I don't, don't, know, don't think Mercy's an, a gamer. I'm really funny. I'm a pretty nice person. Am I really funny? I'm a pretty nice person. I'm a pretty nice person. In this day and age, that is impressive. <laughs> Thank you, Hanzo. <laughs> Hanzo. Hanzo just meta-commenting on the world in 2023. <laughs> or, well... Let's say 30 years in the future, 2050s. Why? Actually, no, even further in the future, sorry. 20, if this is modern day, then 2070, 2075 to 2078. Why don't you just show her how nice you are in front of everyone? Oh. Oh. He hands you the mic. The mic they use for open mic night at the Laugh Attic. That's not how being nice works. Click. <laughs> Spotlight illuminates you. And Mercy turns her head. She's looking at you. Gulp. Say something nice. Um, your brain scrambles. Who is the nicest person you know, besides Mercy, of course? And what would they say? Visions of a space gorilla flood your brain. Winton. What would Winton do? <laughs> the crowd clears their throats. Chairs squeak. Winston would tell a joke. A nice joke. 
Mercy, do you want to hear my favourite joke about the periodic table? Why does it sound like I'm going to go for the periodic table one? Although Winston's jokes, everyone cringes at them in the game, right? Let's go. Do you want to hear my favourite joke about the periodic table? Oh. Oh will do it. Nah. You put the mic- <gasps> Oh, I failed! You put the mic- I can sit down. <laughs> you should have known. Only a space gorilla scientist could hear up the, pull up that joke. Oh, Mercy stands and heads over to you. <laughs> ba bump ba bump They got the, uh, the, the heel sounds down. Why is she coming over? Was your joke that bad? It wasn't even your joke, though. Maybe she'll scold you for plagiarizing. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Salty. <laughs> Shall we? Hi there. You prepare yourself. Maybe she'll shoot you with their Caduceus Blaster. For such a bad joke, you deserve it. Oh dear. Here we go. I wanted to tell you that I'm sorry for stealing the punchline from you. That was quite rude of me. Oh my goodness. She meant N-A. Not no. Oh my goodness. I'm so bad. I'm terrible. She meant sodium. N-A. <laughs> I just... That went over my head. Whoosh. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. There you go. I'm not clever enough. She's apologizing for your bad joke. Truly an angel. My friend Winston makes that joke all the time. The other agents and I say, one day we are going to bury him. You could laugh or you could continue just blinking at her like a cow chewing its cud. That's a real hands-o thing to say. You're smart and funny. OP. Keep blinking at her. Has anyone ever told you you're hilarious? <laughs> You're the first. Sadly, a doctor doesn't have many opportunities to be funny. Oh, that's an unhappy face from Mercy. Isn't laughter the best medicine? Quick, spam the voice lines. Spam the voice lines. No, the best medicine lies in biotic technology. All right, serious. Yeah, let's rewrite that saying to biotic tech is the best medicine. So fund it. <laughs> We're doing the venture capital pitch to get Mercy more funding. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, but I prefer that version. It's been lovely chatting with you, truly. Would you be interested in joining me for dinner soon? I'd love to join you. Like a date? Yeah, come on. Like a date? She checks her pulse and waits. Two fingers on her neck and eyes on you. Oh god. Is it hot in this cubby club, or is it just you? Pulse elevated. Say so yes, a date. <laughs> so, 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 so clinical. <laughs> that was weird, but intriguing. I'd love to join. Oh! Quick. We're saving. Happy music. Oh. I'd love to join you. Mercy smiles. You could die happy right now, and she would just resurrect you back. <laughs> Fantastic. I will meet you at Café Azure at Circuit Royale. And she made her uh, guardian angel noise. And she walks. No. Floats away. You can't believe it. You're going to have dinner with Mercy tomorrow at... Wait a minute. Circuit Royale? That's not in Midtown. If you want to make it in time for dinner tomorrow, you better queue up now. How do you think things went? There is room for improvement. Concentrate less on your discomfort and more on her. The first aid is finished, but the journey ahead is long and fraught with peril. We will endure these trials together. Luckily, the hopeful future of Overwatch has a very nice, reasonably priced transatlantic train. Well, that's convenient. You arrive in Monaco in a few short hours. Supercars zip by in the distance, the aroma of high-end dining wafts from nearby tables. The menu is in front of you, and you're cursing yourself for skipping French class all those years ago. Bonjour. It's exactly three minutes and two seconds past the time of your dinner date, and Mercy is still nowhere to be found. Maybe she changed her mind. Maybe there's an international crisis somewhere and she had to go. Maybe... Maybe she is just running fashionably late. 3 minutes and 57 seconds. 4 minutes and 19 seconds. She must hate you. <laughs> this is my baseline anxiety I was talking about earlier in the... In the... In the... The sim. Coming out. Are you going to eat the breadsticks? Or just let them sit there? 
I am so sorry. She's flustered, having rushed over here. I was working on a new dissertation, and I wasn't keeping track of the time. I got here as fast as I could. Do forgive me. Only if I get a special... Happens to the best of us. Well handled. Really? Shouldn't I be honest and tell her I almost had a meltdown? Consider saving that for the dessert course. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hanzo's, Hanzo's smart here. Yeah. Mercy smiles and sits down. Have you ordered yet? This place does a fabulous beignet de fleurs de courgette. Fried zucchini flowers. <laughs> Thanks, Hanzo. <laughs> you take a deep breath, nod, and look back at the menu. Um, what are the birch and muesli? What are the chicken nuggets? Fidget with the menu. I don't know. It's mercy and the most expensive thing on the menu kind of person. Why would I have muesli? It's not really, I'm not going to have chicken nuggets. I don't think that's this kind of fidget with the menu. Mm. 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 Is Mercy a person of expensive taste? Don't know. Not sure. She likes apple pie. She likes, um, you know, the, the, the Lindholm family's apple pie. But none of these is those. Uh, Birch and muesli? 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 Muesli's not date food. No, there's chicken nuggets. The most expensive the fidget with the menu. Should I fidget with the menu? I'm going to fidget with the menu. You fidget with the menu. Corner. Folding and unfolding it. Over and over. It tears. Right, roll. Right. Hopefully, they won't charge you for that. Oh, she's not looking happy. Instead of failing miserably at origami, you should choose what to order. Okay. <sighs> Maybe she's taking care of my health. I'll have the birch muesli. You order the birch muesli. Because having breakfast for dinner is one of the finer pleasures in life. <laughs> and this was Mercy's recipe in the Overwatch cookbook. <laughs> Do you like birch and muesli as well? Because I also love it. <laughs> it's the best breakfast. Yes, it is. Although we are having dinner. I don't let society's expectations dictate my preferences. <laughs> I'm sticking it to the man and woman person. Sticking it to authority. Me either. There you go. Oh! The bowl of muesli arrives, clusters of bright happy berries, and a trail of green and brown nuts and seeds on a bed of white mush. Silence falls as you two eat. That awkward bit during dinner dates where you can't decide if you should converse or eat, or talk while eating and risk spraying your date with freshly chewed food. Very true. Keep it great. Are you truly such an amateur? Start a conversation! What do I talk about? Something about her. Um, your dissertation is interesting. Tell me more. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? Let's go for hobbies. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? I like volunteering at clinics around the world and collecting crystal. Oh, she's a crystal collector. Well, remember, this is non-canon. Mercy collects crystals. What kind of crystals? Non-canonically, of course. <laughs> they got us. They got us. They had us in the first half, not going to lie. Like non-canonical healing crystals? <laughs> My favourite is the rose quartz. It represents love, healing and compassion. Uh, it represents love, healing and compassion, right? Right! You high-five Cupid. Mercy looks at you, concerned. You forgot that only you can see him. My godly knowledge in love does not cover how to does not cover how to recover from such tomfoolery. So helpful. Uh, just stretching the old latissimus dorsi. Anyways, um, your decision sounds interesting. Tell me more. Oh, do you understand the nuances of medical imaging and machine learning? Um, to be honest, not really. Let's be honest. Oh, oh, well, look, I was being honest. I would change the subject to something you can easily understand. Okay. What does being a hero feel like? I mean, she may not say that she's a hero. Yeah, you know, no one believes me when I say that it's not that great as people think. 
Uh oh. The world saw me as mercy, a guardian angel, noble and perfect. But I'm also just Angela Ziegler, and I am not perfect. And when the world saw that, saw me, they were disappointed. I don't mind being mercy. If the world needs her, then I will be there. But I wish, I wish they would also welcome Angela. Wow. Fidget with your foot. Oh. Oh. Oh, ooh. Well, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's go for the smooth option. I need you, Angela. She chokes on her sip of water. The other patrons look over, oozing disdain at her gauche behaviour. Oh. You discreetly slide a napkin towards her. You okay? Ye yes, I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. But she looks down, face still pink. Thank you for saying that. It's nice to hear. I was wondering. I'm volunteering at a clinic in Cairo tomorrow. <laughs> Would you like to see Angela trying to save the world? Cairo, Egypt? I literally can't miss it unless I stop here. <laughs> she beams at you and soars away, leaving a lingering scent of perfection. <laughs> well, perfect to you. <laughs> oh boy. Well, one way or another, that date is complete. Thanks so much. How did our night go? She seems happy with you. Only through carelessness will you lose her heart now. But there is still another date in your future. Do what you can to prepare. I sense this one will be the most important of all. Alright, okay. Let's go. We're off to Cairo. Oh. Go, oh, look at that. There's no time to waste. As soon as the airship touched down in Cairo, it was straight to the clinic. It's a modest clinic, bright and clean. Angela hands you a pair of scrubs and she puts on a lab coat. As she tends to patients, you help as much as you can. Hallways mopped. Paperwork filed and sorted. Supplies stocked. You sit down in the break room, exhausted. Angela enters. You straighten up immediately. You must be tired. I'll make you some coffee. She hands you a cup of something that looks like coffee. It smells like coffee, but it's definitely not quality coffee. Her genius does not extend to the barristorial arts if such a thing exists. <laughs> Drink it enthusiastically. Let's go for it. <laughs> You drink it enthusiastically. It's endearingly revolting, but strong. Do you like it? Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, so smooth. I know it's terrible, but there's plenty more, so help yourself. The stomach gurgles in protest, but hey, it'll keep you awake. Everyone's telling me that you're a great help. Keep it up. She leaves. Her compliment energizes you more than any cup of coffee. You head back into the clinic lobby, picking out coffee grinds from your tea. Oh, God. Coffee grinds go into the coffee. You're quite the brave one. Oh, you recognize that quiet, wry voice. You turn around on it. Oh, it's Anna. No one has experienced Angela's coffee and come out smiling the other end. Anna? The Anna Amari, legendary sniper, original Overwatch strike, strike Squad member, the bane of most of your matches. What is she doing here? Anna, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Oh, I'm always aching somewhere. You know that. And who is this? This is Hammy, my... She blushes. Pink for CTM, pink. <laughs> Oh, out there right now, Blizzard people are like, bring back Pink Mercy, bring back the Pink Mercy skin. Go on, do do another, do another cancer awareness event, Blizzard. Do Pink Mercy again. Do it, do it for another cancer awareness. Go on, go on. Good cause. Come on, you can do it. Pink Mercy TM. <laughs> um, shall I, shall I let her off? Is it? I mean. I'm Angela's date. Should I, what should I do? Should I be forward? I'm just helping out Angela for the day. Should I be a nice guy? You know? I'm going to go for it. <laughs> date. I'm Angela's date. 
Anna's eyes pin mercy in place. Dr. Angela Ziegler, are you blushing? Absolutely not. It is extremely hot here. Hmm. Her gaze pierces you. You know those eyes have seen the world's most dangerous criminals and their final moments. I've always told Fariha to look for someone who's not afraid to speak up. I'm glad you found someone like that, Angela. It was nice meeting you. She leaves. Angela clears her throat and avoids on eye contact with you. Um, I'll see you when the shift ends. You're alone, wondering what just happened. Well done! You've impressed Dana Amari. Yeah, thanks for all your help. <laughs> it was a test and you passed. I feel proud to call you one of my disciples. Excuse me? I solo carried this whole date. Indeed, with my guidance. Don't forget to endorse me after this. <laughs> Unbelievable. The important matter is you impressed a close friend. Anna's opinion of you will heavily factor into your fate with Dr. Ziegler. And speaking of fate, are you ready to see how your journey ends? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I'm going to run away and cry. <laughs> we will see. Do you have a moment? I want to talk about something with you. Follow Mercy and run away. <laughs> Angela leads you to the top floor of the clinic, where there's a rooftop terrace with stunning views of Cairo. Wow! Spectacular, isn't it? I come up here often, after a long shift. You both take in the view of the city, the Nile sparkling orange from the setting sun, and the high-rise apartments and freeways gathered around its shores. So, what did you want to talk about? I wanted to thank you for these last few days together. You saw me for who I really am, and instead of judgement or expectations, you gave me humour, compassion and kindness. That someone like you exists in this world, it makes me want to believe in it a little stronger. Fight for it a little harder. I want to show you something. Take my hand. Come see this world from above, as I do, in all its beauty. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a reverse Aladdin. She's doing a reverse whole new world instead of the magic carpet like Mercy's flying you above Cairo. <laughs> oh, that's very good. Very good. It's a bit of a role reversal. It's a, it's, it's a, I can show you the world, but the other way around. <laughs> accept Mercy's love or accept Mercy's friendship. There we go. Accept Mercy's love. There we go. I would go anywhere with you. What? Oh. Oh, there we go. Look at that. The Valkyrie's wings spread open. Angela takes your hand and you both soar into the clouds. I love the fact they've decided to draw her as uh, Sigrun. I've known many heroes, but you are mine. <laughs> oh, so cheesy. Good cheese. Hanzo, you have embarked on the journey of love and found what you desire at the end. Love takes many forms, but it is always true. May you cherish this love with mercy forever and always. Ah, oh, there we go. Love is stronger than Elliot. Oh, this this patch, this 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 smug patch. Of <laughs> oh, returns to the main menu to claim. Well, there we go. So, so there is there should be like a third option. That, that there should be a secret option. So I'll do the secret option. Like if you success, if you're successful with Genji and with Mercy, then there is an option to chat to Hanzo. So I need to see what that is. But uh, we're not going to do that for now. There we go. We're getting our, our all of our cards. You can earn in-game things. So by the way, make sure that you log into your in-game. Um, uh, make sure that you log into your in-game uh, account so that you can actually. Um, redeem all of the in-game rewards. So thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, throw a like and subscribe if you enjoy this. What are you thinking of the event? Do, have you enjoyed your playthrough of The Sim? Do let me know. Um, very, very extra, very meta, very wall, uh, fourth wall breaking and having a lot of fun uh, with us and having the odd bit of fun. Well, it's all with us. It's, it's having a, a few little jokes at the Overwatch community and particularly the Law community, but it's good. Love it. <laughs> it's very much laughing together. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, 
If you like Overwatch lore, if you want to see canonical lore as a pro Overwatch lore, if you want to see canonical other side of the coin, then do check out and do check out all my videos. Cheers, sir. Cheers, shooting in. I've been Hammy. Take it easy.